Guys, let's have a talk. We have a huge problem. Look at the graph. Less than 5% of you are subscribed to my channel. It doesn't take much to make me happy. How about one in five of you subscribe right now? Entitled Ladies Porsche Loses Tires Okay, so this story took place back when I was in Florida in the early 90s. It does involve an act of vandalism that is connected to revenge. Hopefully it won't be removed and hopefully it will count as nuclear revenge. Anyway, South Florida was devastated by Hurricane Andrew. My dad as part of a local charity was set up day after day at a local market seeking donations from shoppers to give to food banks. You have to understand the storm left many people homeless and without power in some cases for six plus months in Florida heat and humidity. My father was legally disabled from a serious car accident. He was hit by a drunk driver in the early 80s and suffered from relentless hip and back problems. It never killed his heart or kindness to others, hence the charity work. One day he was about to pull into the disabled space at the local market to go buy a few items to donate to the hurricane charity. Right before he is about to pull in, this lady pulls into the space in this shiny red Porsche. My dad parks behind her and says excuse me mom, I was about to pull in there and also points to his disabled placard in the window. She says to him pfft, you don't look disabled and proceeded to walk into the store. For anyone who has a relative who uses a disabled space, you know the frustration of this situation and the anger one feels. My dad, seemingly unfazed, waits until she goes into the store and then gets out and snips the valve stems on all four tires, flattening, but not destroying all of them. He then pulls into another space not far away and just waits. About 15 minutes later the lady comes out and is shrieking about her car being vandalized. My dad is far enough away so she can't see him but he can hear everything. She calls the police. Big mistake. She files a report for vandalism, and the police give her a ticket for being parked in the disabled space with no placard. About $250 at the time. The cops leave and she calls a tow truck. As the car is being loaded onto the truck my dad pulls up and says to her you don't look disabled, but your car sure is. And then drives off. My dad could be a nice guy and pure savage when he needed to be.